Yeah, I'm going to install a new ground clamp on this uh, welder. You notice it's not an old ground clamp. It doesn't have much use out of it, but it's, uh, you know, the standard weak ones. Uh, this is, a, you know, I, I had several videos on this thing. You know, I threw it in a... I never used it. I got it in 2007. I never used it for years. And I went to use it and it was broke. There were several things broke on it. And one thing I couldn't fix all the way was uh, the wire feed. So I put a video out on it before. And actually what I did was I used uh, a rheostat. Um, bypassed it with a couple batteries. <laughs> and um, it's hooked up in here. You know, it's just... But you know what I'm um, going to do now? But first, I'm going to change this ground clamp. This is not a 300 amp clamp; it's a 200 amp clamp, but it's a it's a 140 weld, welder. Um, you know, it's all copper. But uh, but I found out, and I'm going to see if I can get my wire speed. Because one thing I hate about this welder is, you know, you you just you got this chart up here, and it tells you, you know, what the speed and all this kind of garbage, whatever to use it at. Well, you know, I don't, I, I can't tell with this, because it's the rheostat I installed. So I can't say, you know, put it on setting whatever. <laughs> I don't know if that's stuck or not. Oh, man, there it is. <laughs> setting 2 and 25 or something like that. I can't do that. It's like all guesswork, and... This thing is so touchy that you really can't adjust it that well. I heard that the wire speed, the wire motor is 24 volts. So, possibly I'm going to run, I'm going to try to run this, um, you know, adapter through there. This is 24 volts, uh, AC to DC. And if I can wire it into this, then wire it in directly to the trigger. Well, then I'll just have, it'll work just like freaking the way it should. Just that I'll have to plug it in two places. One for the wire wire motor and one for the welder itself. But in the meantime, I'm going to change out this clamp. And uh, you know, make sure it's nice and clean. You know, I'm, I'm glad this, you know, I learned some, you know, it's kind of cool when you post stuff online because people tell you stuff, you know, for another thing is I, uh, changed out this flux wire with better wire and uh, you know that made a big difference too and I found out from the other welder the clamp works the other welder I put a 300 amp clamp on I'm gonna put a 200 on this more than adequate you know pure copper clamp and if we get this wire wire motor working right so I can use these adjustment out here oh god hey and this thing, I'll have two really good welders. You know, and even though I got it set up for flux, it can do the gas, but I'm not going to use the gas until I actually do a real lot of welding. But that'll give me a, a good spare welder with this. In any case, even if I can't set it up with the stock wire speed motor, I'll set it up with this. And this way, I don't have to mess with these batteries and shit. <laughs> That's 18 volts up there, by the way. Okay, so it's on. It's on there nice and tight. Um, now, even though this clamp looks smaller than this clamp, this is nothing but stamped steel. And you can see the spring that's in there. It's it's real weak compared to the other one. Plus, where this is gripping onto is that's just stamped steel too. That's just not solid. It's not really that great. Now, this is like, ugh. plus you got all that area in there much more area to grip onto so that should do the job much better well that's the easy part this might be easy too so I realize that this goes to the positive so that's to the positive that's the negative and it's just a matter of jumping it to the uh, battery so the negative goes from here to here so it's going to go on the other rheostat and this is well we we'll just figure it out we'll see if what happens it's got some um, electrical connectors here and I'll just splice into this 
Let's see what happens. Well, I just took the screws off the case. There's just like a bunch of screws on the side and on the top. And you don't have to take the handle off. It just slides back. Put the screws in there. Um, unscrew this thing, the rheostat. I'll probably leave. What I'm going to do is... Um, I don't know which side is, you know, there's something wrong with it from the motherboard, and I checked it and checked it and checked it and checked it. It's like, you know, hey, it just don't work, man. Screw it. Um, so, you know, it's something wrong with the motherboard. So let's see if we can bypass it with this. And if the wire feed works, well, shit. Hey, man, home free. Um, I'll, what I'm going to do is I'll probably, since there's a nice solder connection on there, I'll just cut these right here and here. And I'll put some black um, marker on this one of these wires to show that this one goes to that one. In case I ever figure out the motherboard someday. But, you know, it could, who the hell knows what it is, but the fucking thing works more or less. Okay, so I got it hooked up to the 24 amp, 24 volt power supply. It's a 5 amp, made in China, like made in China everything, right? But for, you know, 18, 15 bucks or whatever the hell it is, under 20 bucks, this thing will be fixed good, maybe. And that's the, you know, I'm using this rheostat right here, this one. And that's the one I put on there. You know what? That's that's probably better. That's better right there. So let's see if this can work. That'll be interesting. The other one, the one I pulled out of there. That'll be good. If that works, oh, we're home free. Well, I'll hang it up using um, that because somehow it must. That rheostat must do something to the motherboard, and then from the motherboard it adjusts the voltage or something. I don't know what it does. But I got this big old plain real stat in here, which it works. You see. And uh, I could slow it down. It's pretty smooth. I tighten down the wire feed, you know. So doesn't seem bad. Better than nothing, it'll work. So I'm going to put it together without the batteries, this, I'll just uh, solder something on there, put some uh, connectors, and I'll leave this up here. Then I just plug it in, I'll need these, uh, the batteries, it'll be alright. So, it'll work, it'll work. Okay, so this is what we got. I got this mounted up here nice and solid, and it's out of the way to the handle, so I can use the handle. Um, I connected these up and I put monster tape over it just you know so uh, you know hides the connections and I tape it to the handle but um, I have it so the original connection is still okay I had I just stripped the wire didn't cut the wire then I used the connector to get into it um, so you now you can see the power supply is on it's green lights on then when I go to use the welder I have to use two plugs I have to use one for the wire feed that's that and then just plug in the welder itself right there okay so somehow I can't use this and you know this doesn't have to be the welder doesn't have to be on for the wire speed motor to work I tightened down the um, the wheel a little bit more because I guess the spring was getting loose and if I wanted to I could take that wheel in here that's just smooth and I know the better ones have like a serrated edge on it. I can make one with the Dremel, but I'm not going to do that because right now it seems to be working fine. I just tightened it down a little bit. So here's the, uh, the feed. Works fine. Works fine. You can slow it down a little bit. Works fine. So it's just that. I'm kind of guessing at the adjustment, like what, you know, if you're using 18 gauge, um, well, I guess on 18 gauge, you put it on setting one, 16 gauge, you put it on setting two, 
The only thing I'd be wondering about is the wire speed, but it's not bad. It works. It's a good emergency welder to work to do some kind of good. Um, and now for these batteries, what I'll do is I'll take these batteries here, and I think they're pretty dead. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stick them on my Bedini charger on setting one, the lowest setting. And I'll be checking them from time to time. I'll bet you I bring them back. And um, I got a couple. I got one lantern that uses this battery, and I got another lantern that uses that battery. So I bet you I can get those like brand new again. So this works. This works. I was hoping to get that, but so what? So what? At least now I don't have to worry about the batteries going dead or anything like that. Um, I can just pull this out, and I got to do a weld someplace it's not gonna be too hard to do I mean it, it's not gonna be perfect but it works it works and if my better welder which is not like a really good welder it's just a Hobart 125 if that one breaks at least I got a backup like I said something's better than nothing it's almost like the same thing with guns you know like somebody will say oh this is no good you gotta have that you gotta have this you gotta have that well something's better than nothing right so uh, anyway all in a day so you know worth doing worth doing we're spending that 20 bucks for um i'm a i'm a person i learned this from my boss to tell you the truth man one of my bosses guy never threw away nothing <laughs> yeah, i mean his net worth was actually up to close to 100 million at one time he never threw away nothing i don't give a shit if it was 10 bucks the way he was man and um, I'll let me put it to this way is that cheap or is it just like waste and what do you see I'm, I'm kind of like opinionating on here but you know what's wrong with America man everybody's like everything's in the trash and most of this stuff doesn't belong here to tell you the truth too quick to freaking throw it away and buy something new um, so nothing wrong with this thing really it should function just fine for basic stuff